let me first share our lesson here it is can you see it can you see it yes, see. okay <laughs> so we have discussed about the meaning of these highlighted words and phrases on our article but we are yet to finish it so let's go and continue it okay so we have here the word uh we were done with the word sociable so let's go and have the next word get on well can you tell me what does it mean Guess on well, uh, it mean uh, it's uh, the same um, relationship, friendly. Uh, it's it's a who uh, um, uh, who adapt with uh, adapt uh, with new uh, organization. Recent. Uh, who adapt? Uh, uh, who, yes, who adapt with a uh, uh, new uh, uh, organization. Who adopts well? Oh, you're saying that they are the same. Who adopts well on a new organization? Yes. Okay, yes, they are indeed correct. So you could uh, say that get on well is about relationship with others. You have a good relationship with others. You even mentioned about being friendly. And you could also add the sociable. You could say that they are related to it. Okay, that was good. Now let's go to the next phrase. Sense of humor. What does it mean? Uh, uh, it's man who uh, who um, uh, who is funny, uh, who uh, who is funny, uh, who uh, who can make uh, 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 can make uh, for people laugh. Yes, who can make other people love that was good yes that's correct how about the next word can you read it uh, smile smile and how can you explain smile uh, smile uh, smile uh, so in a face uh huh. Uh, uh, people uh, when when people are uh, uh, funny, they uh, are uh, pleasant. Pleasant, yes. Yeah. Or if we are gonna simplify how we explain the word smile, it would be it's an expression that expresses that we are happy. Okay. Yes. An expression of happiness so that is how we explain that so how about the next phrase can you read it uh, is to. Mm -hmm. and what does it mean uh, it's it, it mean the same um uh, the same joy uh, it's simple who so, um, uh, for activity. Yeah, so things that people enjoy to do. Yes. Okay, or you could just simply say interest. Interest. People's interest. Or like what are they, what are they interested to? Okay, like saying, I'm interested in literature, in swimming, and such. Okay, so you could simply just use the word interest. Okay? Interest. Yes. yes. And how about the next one? Uh, it's good. Uh, it's been the 
Uh, let's say uh, a man. Man, a man, boy, a mm -hmm. um, uh, a man, boy, male. Those are all its uh, same words uh, with the same meaning. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So moving on. How about the last word? Can you read it? Compatible. Again, that is compatible. Compatible. Yeah. What does it mean? Yes. How about uh, trying to express know, uh, it in a uh, sentence? Uh huh. Not compatible. Yeah. I am acting compatible. This means he, uh, uh, yeah. uh, not the same uh, reasonable. Uh, reasonable uh, and yeah i think uh, i think uh, 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 uh example a uh, parent with the uh, b a what a, a, uh, it's a simple uh, men parent with the uh, parent with the uh, a man a man a man is what? Yes. A man is compatible? Ah, compatible. I think um, the same reasonable. Reasonable. No, that would be wrong. <laughs> okay, let me help you on that. When we say compatible, we could uh, use the word that... Um, mm, oh, I, I thought of something. Eating burger and uh, eating burger with Coke is the best. Ah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm getting confused too. It's, it's a compatible combination. Okay, let me repeat my sentence. Eating burger with Coke is the best. I don't know. It's the compatible combination. So you could say that when we say about compatible, it is about something, uh, so some two things. What? It is something about two things. When we say compatible, or you could say that the word that uh it that is related to the word compatible is well much they are much well together they are well much yes. okay saying that that man is compatible to that woman they look good mm. together okay yes. so that is about those praises and words and their meaning so let's go and move on about more about the article that you have read yesterday. It's about this. So we have here some question about it. Can you read the first question? Yes. What's the challenge Clyde doing? Mm -hmm. What does she like um. doing? Charlotte uh, like to go the cinema, uh, cinema, cinema book, uh, book, book um, often uh, feel lifestyle at home with a uh, good book. Mm -hmm. That is right. And then what is, how about question number two? So what's it like? Mm. Charlotte is a uh, quite friendly and uh, sociable. Mm -hmm. 
she get on uh, she get on way on well she had a good sense of humor yes a good sense of humor okay and how about number three uh, what kind of man does doesn't she like let's first have the kind of man does uh what kind of man does she likes she like she like man interesting she uh, uh he can make her laugh Mm -hmm. he, uh, he has he has good uh first goal mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and how about things that she doesn't like about men no This man, he, um, he don't like the uh, uh, beard. Beard. She doesn't like men with beards. Okay. Beard. Mm -hmm. Yes. How about the last question? Can you read question number four? Well, who does she think he go to choose better wife? Between her mother and her best friend, who does she think is going to choose better? She think her best friend uh, to a man better because her best uh, her best friend uh, fireman uh, he he has a physical more a uh, compatible mm -hmm. compatible yes mm -hmm. but actually in some areas she thinks that her mother will also choose a man better for her but if we are just specifically talking about a man that is physically uh charlotte's ideal type it will be her best friend katie who will choose better but anyway we will go and have here first some things about our grammar okay so let's first have here our grammar part that is about past or rather present sorry about that present simple so we have here some sentences that you have read from the article so complete the sentences using the present simple let's have number one Number one, uh, she doesn't have a partner at the moment. Yes, that is correct. How about two? She goes on a death with each man. With each man. Man. Okay, number three. Which one does she refer? Mm -hmm. And then? Yeah, no. Ah, what kind of man? Uh, What kind of man the uh what kind of what kind of men do I like? Yes, that is correct. Last number. Uh, 
I don't usually like men with beards. Okay, that was good. Now talking about present simple in our grammar, can you tell me what is the letter? Do you think we add most to uh, we add to most verbs with he, she, and it? Do you know it? When we are talking about present simple and uh, we use the pronouns he, she, it, what is the yes. letter that we add to most verbs in a sentence that has present simple? Letter. Which letter do you use? Letter do you add? Which letter? It. What letter is it? Yes. Uh, I think C. C. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when we are talking about present simple, we usually changes the form of uh, most verbs when we are talking with the uh, and there is we uses the he she it in a sentence and mostly the letter that we use is as as or es the letter that we add to verbs so we have here number two a question that states how do the verbs below these verbs watch study go have change with he she it so continuing with that we changes the verb watch to watches oh, what's that watches that verb watch will be watches we add the es at the end of it because in the sentence if in the sentence you are using he she it it will become watches well for study it will become start this you will change y to i and then you will add es well for go you will just simply add es and for have you will make that has okay so that is what yes. happens when you are using he she it in a present simple sentence now continuing on about auxiliary verbs that we use to make questions and negatives we will find that out in our grammar bank okay so let me show you our grammar bank and discuss more about present simple so here it is just a second oh here so on our grammar bank here the present simple uh, rules and more that we could learn about it here it is as you could see so first, let's have here these uh, sample sentences. So we have the pronoun I, you, we, and they. 
when we use this, these pronouns in a present simple sentence and the sentence is a positive sentence, it will usually be, I usually work at home. Simple as that. But when it is negative, it will be, they don't live near here. When it is used as a sentence, do you speak French? While answering with the yes or no, it will be yes I do, no I don't. Now, focusing on the pronoun he, she, it, this one, this three pronouns, it will become holy knows me very well. As you could see, the verb will have an S at the end. When you are using he, she, it in a sentence. Another example. It doesn't often rain here. So as you can see, the does will are uh, the do in here. It, sh it, sh it should be don't. If you are using I, you, we, and they. But when you are using he, she, and it, you will add an S or ES at the verb. Another one, when it's a sent, uh, when it is a question, it will be, does Ali's like just, that would be the question. It's not do, like saying, do Ali's like just, no, that will be wrong. It should be, does Ali's like Jack's. So when you're answering yes or no, it will be, yes, she does, no, she doesn't. When it is about he, she, and it. So also, talking about the present simple, we use that for things that you do every day or every week, year, or for things. That is generally true or that it always happens. Okay? So as I've said, take note that we use don't and doesn't to make negative sentences and do or does to make questions okay so still about the he she it or what we call third person we have the spelling rules which i have said so we have here some verb work study finish go and thus some examples so when it comes to work and you are uh, the sentence was in a third person and there's a he, she, it on it, it will become works, which you will, the rules would be, you will add an S at the end. But if it studies, as I have said, you will change Y to I and then add ES, okay? Well, for finish, yes. you could, you will add es at the ends or for words that ends in ch ce ge sh like the word watch watches okay well for go and do uh, go and do you will just simply add es and it will be goes and thus and for have it will become has okay Yes. Okay. So moving on to another one. We have here about adverbs and expressions of frequency. So first, let's have here some examples. Uh, example sentences. So we have here, we often go out on Friday night. She doesn't usually study at weekends. I'm never ill. He's always late for work. She gets up early every day we have english classes twice a week so as you could see in here we have the words often usually never always every day twice a week so those are examples of adverbs of frequency so what is that that is as i've said the always the usually often which will be about things that you might be do, uh, talking about how often do
do you do that action? So there is an offend. You don't. You just do it often. You never do it. Those kind of words, okay? So when we are talking about, as I've mentioned, those words are called adverbs of frequency. So it go or you use that word before the main verb, okay? And also adverbs of frequency go after the be verb. So, an example would be, when we're talking about the adverbs of frequency go before the main verb would be, she doesn't, or rather, we offend. We offend go out on Friday night. So, it, the adverbs of frequency is before the word go. While talking about Adverbs of frequency go after the B verb that will be T. She doesn't usually study at weekends. The B verb in here would be doesn't, which is after, after this verb, there is the adverb of frequency. Or also the word I'm never ill. So she's never ill, as you can see in, in here. Okay? So, yes. also remember that when you use a positive verb, you will use never. So, like for example, the positive verb is rains. So, you will use it with a never. It never rains. It will be wrong if you said it doesn't never rain. That will be wrong. Or you, that would really confuse someone if you say it like that, okay? And also, expressions of frequency is the everyday, once a week, or like that usually go at the end of the sentence. So, as you can see in here, this words everyday, twice a week is always, or most usually find at the end of a sentence okay so yes. do you have any questions in regards to that no i understand okay that is good so mm -hmm. we will have a uh, exercise that is about present simple on our next class but for tonight, that will be all. Okay? So, thank you for tonight. Oh. Good night and goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.